Hello and welcome to Lot 49. Today we'll be looking at the announcement that the first offshore oil extraction has begun in the country of Senegal. On the 12th of June, President Basiro Diome Fay was presented with the first crude fuel extract from the Sangamar oil field. This reservoir lies 100 kilometers south of the capital of Dakara and is estimated to hold 230 million barrels of crude oil. Extraction is being carried out by the Australian company Woodside Energy Group Limited, which owns an 82% stake in the field, with the other 18% being owned by the government organisation Petrosen. So far, Woodside has achieved maiden production and the first phase aims at extracting 100,000 barrels a day, leading to complete extraction after six years. In 2016, Senegal consumed 49,000 barrels a day. At the same time, it imported 19,390 barrels of oil a day. These imports made up 38% of its total oil consumption. According to the United Nations Comtrade database, mineral fuels, oils and distillation products accounted for 32% of the nation's imports and 18% of their exports. Before I wrap this up, I want to make some comments of my own. Firstly, while there has been some criticism of this development from EFM outlets in countries which have enjoyed burning fossil fuels for over a hundred years, this is good for the development of Senegal, and the profits from this will hopefully improve the living conditions and opportunities of the country's population. I have also heard from some that this is the first time the country has produced oil. But this is not accurate as it did so before the Sangamar drilling, just on land. I'm not sure how much of the revenue from this project will end up in the Senegalese economy, as Petrosen holds only a minority stake in the oil field and the rest is owned by the Australian company Woodside. So presumably most of the money from it is going abroad, which highlights the issue of who is ultimately exploiting these African resources. Finally, as the Comtrade database makes clear, Senegal still exports mineral fuels, oils and distillation products, even though it has to import a large amount. This is because Senegal is still reliant on other countries to refine the raw materials taken from the ground before they can be used. Anyway, that's it for this video, thank you for watching. The sources used can be found down in the description and in the credits. This video was inspired by a video from the YouTube channel Make Africa Great, and you can find similar videos there. As with all video channels, please feel free to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and until next time, have a good day.